So let's create our first application using C++ Interbase and we're going to use the FireDAC components to connect to the database. So we can create a new multi-platform C++ application or we could create a new VCL application for C++ through the menus. I'm going to create a blank application and using the data explorer here we can, under FireDAC, we can connect to Interbase and I should be able to connect to the employee database um, I've got that configured. So all we're going to need to do now is just take the table that we want. We can explore the, the fields uh, within the tables. I'm going to take the employee table and add that onto my form here. And we can see now that I've got my FIDAC connection, the TFD connection, and I have a TFD query. Now the query component, if we double click on it, we can see this select staff from employees. We can preview some of the data here at design time. The FD connection, if we double click on that, we can now see in here all the properties for the connection. So we can see where the database is, and these are the parameters that we'd need to update at runtime if we want to modify the connection. Now, let's go ahead and add a grid. And I'm just going to right click and bind visually, and we're just going to keep that in sync. Now let's make sure that the grid is populated with some data. And what we can do now is using the, the bind source, we can right click and add a navigator. And that will now show us a, a bind source navigator connected up as well. And we now have our first application ready to work with the database. Now, if you don't want to use the Data Explorer, then let's just take all these bits out. You can go ahead and do this manually using the, to the TFD connection. Uh, an FD query and then you'll notice as you add them down the connection is automatically added to the FIDAC query and that tells it which database connection it's using. Um, on the database connection we can go ahead in here we can say we're going to use IB and we can say if we have a predefined uh, database configuration we can go set that up as well. Uh, or you can just go ahead and say, actually, I'm going to use Interbase and then here come and choose the database path and enter in your username and password. Okay, so let's make sure that this is actually connected up to our database and we'll go and do the select star from employee. That looks all good. And we can see we're now getting the alert up that we have a login prompt, so I'm just going to take that off. Now, what we can do is we can also do a master detail relationship. So let's just go do an FD query. And I'm going to use a, a data source here. Now, obviously, you probably name these uh, appropriately. So I'm just going to use data source one connected to query one. Now, in the employee table, there's the employee number. And if we have a look in the sales table, there's a sales rep, which I believe is the employee number. So let's do select star from sales. And we can now do here where sales rep equals employee number. I'm going to use a full colon here as a parameter and now that's returning no data and if I connect the data source into the master source here I can then say the master field I could I could link that across but we've actually got it in the in the query so let's Go ahead and reset a couple of grids on the form here. And the first grid I'm going to connect up to the first query, the second one to the second query. 
and let's just make sure the second query is active as well. And if we go ahead and run this now, as we navigate down, we can see here sales rep 11 has got quite a lot of order history. Now let's see if we can find somebody else who's done some sales. There we are. Luke has also done some sales. So very easy to get master detail relationships working using the queries and that's all connected directly into the Interbase database now.